Hi! In today's video, we expand our method for constructing continued fractions to functions in x. But before we dive into the matter, let's review what we have accomplished so far and where we're headed. We have seen that any rational number can be converted into a continued fraction, and we are free to choose the numerator. Using the method for that, Euclid's algorithm, we are guaranteed to finish after a certain number of fraction levels. An important consequence was that any infinite continued fraction with this simple condition must necessarily represent an irrational number. We have a candidate, the tangent of x, where x is rational. For this function, we have already established the form of a fraction, only now the numerator and denominator are not simple integers, but power series in x. Nevertheless, Euclid's algorithm can be carried out, and the result will have a much simpler pattern. Before we get to this, the most involved part of the proof, let's take away some of the complexity and look at the simpler case of two finite series with integer coefficients. When we convert this expression to a continued fraction, the geometric picture of cutting and swapping pieces will serve us as a guide. We represent the polynomial 36 plus 42x plus 8x squared with three columns. A first column for the constant term 36, another column of height 42 for the linear term 42x, and a third column of height 8 that stands for the quadratic term 8x squared. We do the same for the denominator. Now we ask, just as we did for integers, how many times can we fit the denominator into the numerator? But only like terms can be mixed, since x is unknown. While we could fit 12x three times into 42x, and x squared even eight times into 8x squared, it is the constant term that limits the subtraction if you want to avoid negative numbers. 18 fits twice into 36, Therefore, we call 2 the integer part of the fraction and see how we can deal with the leftovers. What's left is 18x plus 6x squared. Right now, we can't fit neither polynomial into the other. But we can factor out x. Then we compare 18 plus 6x with 18 plus 12x plus x squared. Now we can fit the red into the green, but bear in mind that the roles are now reversed. In other words, we decompose the inverse fraction, 18 plus 12x plus x squared, over 18 plus 6x. So we draw a fraction bar under the x, and now the method repeats. Fit 18 plus 6x once into the other, and be left with 6x plus x squared. Factor out x, and invert. 6 plus x fits 3 times into 18 plus 6x, with 3x left over. Factor out x and invert. 3 fits twice into 6 plus x with x left over. Factor out x. The remaining 1 fits 3 times into 3. And we are done. Whoa! We are really pushing algebra to the limit here. As I mentioned before, this is a simplified example with integer coefficients, but the method can also be applied to fractional polynomials. The important part is that in each subtraction the constant term vanishes, so we can factor out x. This requires in general to split off a fractional multiples, so the numbers in the continued fraction are fractions themselves. But they won't in our case. Finally, it almost goes without saying that for infinite power series, Euclid's algorithm most likely never finishes, but this is what we want for our irrationality proof. All right, we are ready to find that continued fraction for the tangent of x. Stay tuned. 